Okay, captains this week, uh, will be four seniors, of course, playing their last games out there that uh, have done an awful lot for this program is Josh Knight and Justin Hunt on offense and uh, Trey Tyler and Gary Thompson on defense. Uh, obviously, we've got a great challenge this week. Uh, Western's an excellent football team. Uh, they, if you look at them on tape, they've got, uh, you know, they've got about seven all-conference players back on offense. Uh, defensively, they're number one in our league and they're playing extremely well. So. Be a great challenge for our guys. We got to go out and have a great week of practice and a great week of preparation. And get ready to go play. You look at the tandem of receivers they've got, and yeah. uh, Taylor and Norris. How those guys complement each other and, and really make that offense go? Well, they're two seniors that are really good players, and uh, they, they both are just excellent players. They both can stretch the field vertically. They do a tremendous job of throwing the ball down the field. Uh, Norris, you know, the Norris's guy can get the ball in space. He's a hard guy to tackle, similar to the Middle Tennessee guy. You know, a couple weeks ago, so they're really explosive. Then you put the tail back in there; it's gained over a thousand yards. They've got uh, they're, they're a good football team. How's the quarterback different from the guy that started there the last three years? He's not a lot different, unfortunately. You know, he's uh, very similar. If you look at his numbers; he's about the same. You know, overall, as far as their offensive numbers are concerned, uh, you know, touchdowns, and interceptions, and what he's done. So he's uh, he, he's done a good job of uh, you know Jeff's done a good job of developing him and. He's got really good players around him. I mean, that offensive line will be as good as we faced it. That uh, left tackle is a tremendous player, be an NFL player, and they got a couple other seniors in there. They're good players, and the guards an all-conference player, just a junior. Seniors with this program, I know that uh, you know we talked to the underclassmen. They want to send them out right. What, what have they really meant over the last four years? Well, yeah, you know, you know, of course they've you know with that three-year stretch, they went off a lot of games. I mean, Josh Knight was a big part of all that, and Justin Hunt, and of course Gary Thompson, and. You know they were part of uh, what's happened. You know the last three years, and and uh, unfortunately, you know they didn't, it didn't happen for them this year. So they got you know, they done an awful lot, and uh, we got to try to send them out the right way because they deserve it. What senior went the farthest from the minute he stepped foot on campus? Gosh, I, I don't know. You know, you know, just Josh and Justin have both been really consistent with what they've done. We don't have a lot of them, and that's part of the reason we are where we are, and uh, there's a number of seniors we have, and. You know, Gary's a guy that's been here five years now and uh, has done a tremendous job. So just proud of all of them, to be honest. But, uh, you know, like I said, I think I said, nah, I, 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 and I'm sure Woody, you remember me saying this six years ago or seven years ago when your senior day doesn't take very long. It's, 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 it's part of the problem, and that is part of our problem. We don't have enough seniors. Big problem, obviously, tight end and center. Uh, problem. Big problem. Well, you know, it, it is, you know, it, I think any time you go 12 weeks in a row, you know, it's hard on the football team physically. And it is on, you know, we've got some guys banged up, but, uh, you know, we'll get the guys ready to play to go play. And, uh, you know, hopefully your check's back this week and, you know, we'll see where Levi is. So, you know, at the end of the day, we'll play with what we got and uh, they'll play hard. Now you mentioned it might have been two weeks ago that Clint was sort of wait and see. But it, is he going to get take more time, or do you know? I don't know. We'll see this week. You know, he hadn't practiced in so long. You know, it's hard, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Just one game to go a long way. Positive sense. Anytime you can, anytime you can finish up on the right note, that it helps you. You know, it's, it's an, you know it's important. Of course, every game he plays, you know, is, is like that. So we, like I say, we got to have a great week of preparation. It'll be a great challenge for us, and uh, and it's going to go play extremely hard and see what happens. Do you like their defense has been overlooked because of the offensive numbers they put up? Well, I think the defense, if you look at, uh, you know, if you remember playing three years ago, they had one of the, I think their defense was ranked towards the bottom of the league in the last two years. You know, they've, they've really improved defensively, done a tremendous job with that defense. And, uh, you know, I think they're, well, I don't think, I know they're one of the top defense in our league right now, and that's why they are where they are. That's why they've, uh, you know, if you look at us, the last three years, we were, two years we were in the championship game. and. Last year, at this point, we were playing to go to the championship game, but we played tremendous defense. That's where our defense was, and that's where Western Kentucky's got their defense right now, and we got to work hard to get ours back. Rock isn't having a system. They have season one with this one where they had a lot of inexperience, and then it was compounded by the injury bug, maybe fighting a little harder than it has here a few years. You know, it's been a long I, I can't remember, to be honest. I haven't, you know, not, not really, to be honest. And, uh, can't remember one quite like this one. This is this has been a, and hopefully I won't ever experience it again because I know you all don't like it, neither do I. Thank you.
Smock, you are getting ready for Thanksgiving? I'm coming to your house, Smock. Thanks, guys. So what, are, what are your Thanksgiving plans? I don't have. You know what? When you play on Thanksgiving week, you just kind of keep the same routine you have. So, although my daughter is coming to town, I'll get to see her for the first time in maybe a year or two. So that's that'll be nice. Anything else? Thanks, guys.